Hi everyone, my name is Marsha and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a get ready with me featuring the 2024 Chanel Spring Collection. I am so, so excited for this and um, that is what we're playing with today. That is the look that I have created using these products and all of Chanel. So this is a full face of Chanel. And um, if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, what I used to create it, please keep on watching. Also, at the end of the video, we're gonna be selecting the winner for our Vlogmas Day 25 giveaway. So make sure you stay until the end to see if you have won that giveaway. Okay, everyone, so let's go ahead and get started. I have nothing on my face. I'm gonna put on some eye patches for eye patches today. I'm gonna be using my Chanel. Since it's gonna be a full face of Chanel, we're gonna be using the Chanel lift eye patches i always save these for kind of like an a, a special occasion or you know um, these are quite pricey for the eye patches but i absolutely love them so let's go ahead and throw these on and get started so for eyeshadows today we're using the brand new spring 2024 collection i have the shade 78 revage but i am gonna prime my eyes with the cream um, eyeshadow from Chanel which is in skin to lens I always talk about this one I really really like priming my eyes with some type of like a cream shadow I just feel like it makes my powder shadows last so much longer so for Chanel my favorite one is skin to lens I also have some favorites from other brands that I do use and I recently discovered this Huda Beauty brush. It was a free gift with my purchase and it turned out to be a really great brush for cream shadows. This is technically called the face and conceal and blend brush, but I have been loving this for cream shadows. Um, I just love the shape of this brush. I love um, like the, the way it applies the cream shadows. It is so perfect. So that's the brush I'm going to be using today. And, um, and for skin to lens, this is what the cream shadow looks like. I have used quite a bit of mine and I have gone through so many of these little pots. I don't even really know how many I've been through, but, um, it is definitely a favorite. <laughs> Okay, so let's unbox this and see this beauty. I do already have a video up on my channel where I unbox this and I share with you all the spring uh, 2024 collection that I picked up. So, um, but today we're actually gonna swatch it and play around with it, so I'm really excited. I, it has this beautiful, like a baby blue shade and I am gonna be using that today. Um, so it comes with this velvet sleeve and you know your typical Chanel compact and then these are the beautiful shades for me as I said before um, if you don't look at the baby blue and just focus on the other three shades to me that's a perfect neutral um, eyeshadow quad and then the pop of blue I do feel like I want to use so we'll play around with that shade today uh, but first I'm going to swatch it and bring you in a little closer to get some fun close-ups and swatches I'm picking up my Sonia G crease brush and I'm going to go into this um, darkest shade here and I'm going to place that into the crease and into the outer corner. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Sonia G. This is the T2 um, brush. I'm going into this baby blue shade and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. That is so pretty, you guys. Um, I did not expect it to be kind of so light. I feel like it is a true like baby blue with like a little bit of like an iciness to it, if you know what I mean. Um, like almost like a silver blue. And um, I really like that. That's really, really pretty. I think that's really pretty. Now, I'll be honest, I am not one to wear a lot of blue on my eyelids, and um, this is a little bit out of my comfort zone, I have to say, but I do really like this look for spring. I feel like it's really pretty. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna use my finger, and I'm gonna go into that shimmer, um, like snowy white <laughs> type of look, and I'm gonna put it all over the lid, all over the blue. Um, I feel like this is a nice topper shade, so we're just gonna pop it right on. There was a lot of fallout with this shade, this only this particular shade, um, which is the reason why I like to do my eyes first, um, because it is just so much easier to clean up any kind of fallout when you don't have like any kind of face makeup on the foundation and everything. So um, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Um, with my other one. I feel like that really changed the blue to like a silver blue. <laughs> and I have to say, I really like that. I really like that the effect that this topper shade had. It's very pretty. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna use this shade here because I feel like this I like this look. I already like this look. So we're gonna leave it at this and I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my eyes. Now I'm gonna be using my favorite, um, one of my favorite Chanel eyeliners. This is the uh, retractable eyeliner in the color Noir Intense. I've talked about this um, pencil on my channel before. It's just a favorite go-to eyeliner for me. And then for mascara, I'm gonna use my um, lash primer. I have a new one here that I'm gonna be opening up because I totally ran out of mine. So um, this is what it looks like. And I love this lash primer. This is probably my top number one favorite lash primer. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna be using that. And then for mascara, I have a sample here of the La Volume de Chanel that I'm gonna be using because I am totally out of my Chanel mascara. So this is one of those um, samples that's pretty much a one-time use. Um, you can maybe get two uses out of it, but not a lot more, but this is what it looks like. And then for my brows, I am using my favorite brow product. This is um, the Duo Brow Wax and Brow Powder with um, in shade 02 Medium. I really, really love this. I actually already hit pan on this. Um, as you can see, the powder part of that, and this is um, the cream. And I really, really love this. Definitely something I will repurchase once I'm totally out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes off camera and then I will be back and we'll finish the rest of the face. Okay, everyone, so the eyes are completely done now. And I have to say, I really like this eyeshadow quad. I love the blue, which I didn't think I would. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't think I would love the blue, but I think it is really, pretty it's like a different take on a blue shade for eyeshadow um i feel like with chanel they made it like 
really light and elegant and I think it's perfect for spring. I think it will also look really nice in the summertime or on vacation and um, yeah, I'm really excited for this look. I feel like with the topper shade, it really tones it down and makes it this like silvery shade, which I'm here for. I really, really like this. So it, I think this is really pretty. So um, that's, that's my thoughts on the quad. But now let's go ahead and do the rest of the face. For foundation today, I am using the Le Beige. Um, this is the Healthy Glow Foundation and I have mine in the shade uh, BD01. I'm almost, almost done with it. So I'm trying to finish this one up before it goes bad. But um, as soon as it is done, I'm sure I'm going to be repurchasing it um, really soon. Uh, maybe not right away because I still have a couple of other foundations I am trying to finish. But um, as soon as I finish up a couple of my foundations, this will be one of the first I will repurchase because I love it so, so much. And I'm going to mix in this um, Le Beige. Um, this is the Le Beige. Uh, base like primer that I kind of like to mix in with my foundation so it is the healthy winter glow primer moisturizing and protective so what I do is I pump a, like a pump and a half out on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna add a little squeeze of this and then mix it in together I'm gonna be using my Beaky Beauty 101 brush to apply it and I, again, it's on my back of my hand and I'm just going to apply it with a brush. Okay, so here's the foundation on. And again, it gives you this beautiful, healthy glow. It has a really, really good coverage. And I, I just love it. It's one of my favorite Chanel foundations. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my damp beauty blender and kind of press anything left over in. But honestly, it looks really nice even without this step. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm using the La Corrector by Chanel. Um, this is in the shade B10. This is probably my most repurchased concealer. I love this concealer and I'll always probably repurchase this one. I just love it so much. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty. This is the A506 concealer. Okay guys, so for bronzer, I'm gonna use the cream bronzer by Chanel. This is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. This one is this, the shade 390 Soleil Tan Bronze. I really, really love this one. I always keep my cover on and I always um, tell you guys to do it too because this will make it um, last longer and be more fresh. So always, always keep the lid on this little cover. Here is what it looks like. It is such a beautiful bronzer slash contour. And I'm going to be using my Beaky Beauty 109 brush to apply it. And I typically just go directly in and apply it to the cheeks. I'm going to show you the one side versus the other. So this is the one with the bronzer and this is without. I feel like it just gives you this sun-kissed type of glow. Um, it, you know, it just it looks really natural, really pretty. 
and I really like applying it with this brush um, this is kind of like a mini of the BK Beauty 101 brush which is technically a foundation brush and this is like one that you could also use for foundation or spot correct or concealer but I like using these brushes for uh, cream products like cream bronzers cream blushes so I think this is like the perfect brush <laughs> Okay guys, let's get into this beautiful blush. We have the Powder Blush Duo. I love that there's two shades in this one. This is what the packaging looks like. This is definitely limited edition. So if you guys have your eye on this, do not sleep on it because it's gonna sell out. It is so pretty. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to try it. But um, again, it comes in this kind of sleeve. And I love when they do these limited edition products, blushes and highlighters. They're so, so special. And this one, of course, comes with this half a moon type of brush. And my goodness, you guys, look at how pretty. I love a peachy blush and that peachy side is like talking to me. And then there's also kind of like a pinky plummy type of shade like a berry shade i want to say so i'm excited for both of these so i'm gonna go ahead and bring you in closer for some close-ups and swatches and then we'll apply it to the face so these are the swatches you guys so we have the coral shade and kind of like the pink berry shade they swatched a lot lighter than they look like in the pan which for me i'm very happy with that because i do like a lighter blush so Let's go for it. So I'm gonna use um, one on each side, <laughs> just so we can see. So I'm gonna use my Sonia G. This is the classic cheek brush. I'm gonna use the coral sheet first, and then we'll go into the other one. Oh yeah. I can tell you right now that I'm gonna get a ton of views out of this shade. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so pretty. It is like a peachy, a beautiful like peachy coral I love a peachy blush it is so pretty okay let's try the berry next I'm taking the Sonia G cheek pro and let's try the berry That's really beautiful as well. That's really pretty. I like having like the two in one and of course you can mix them and kind of create your own shade between the two. But I really love having two options in one compact. So you can definitely see, I think that this is more like a pinky berry and this one is more coral peach but they are both pretty i am happy with this i'm very very happy with this and i knew i knew when i saw this that i was gonna have to get this because i absolutely love chanel blushes especially like their limited edition ones i love them all right i'm happy with that all right now let's do the highlighter the limited edition highlighter this is the illuminating powder and this really excited me because it has kind of like a light blue like icy blue tint to it so let's quickly look at that all right so the usual typical packaging yeah so this like i said it has like this pearlescent but icy blue tint to it if the camera will pick it up i'm gonna bring you in closer and then we'll do a quick swatch before applying it i'm gonna use my bk beauty 112 brush to apply it Ooh. i'm so excited yeah it has it has that icy blue it's very subtle you can't you know you have to look up close to see like that icy blue tint but it is really pretty. 
but I love this highlighter. Yeah. So pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love a beautiful highlight to the skin, so this is really pretty. I'm in love with this collection, honestly. I really do love all the pieces that came out. But now, let's go ahead and finish off the look with some lip products. Okay, for the lip product, I actually have a new Rouge Allure Lac in the shade 90 Golden Beige. This came out with like the previous, the winter collection, and I never had a chance to really use it, so we're gonna be giving that a try. I'm also gonna use my favorite lip liner. This is the beige natural lip liner by chanel and we're gonna top everything off with melted honey lip gloss which i talk about all the time does not need any more introduction than that but i'm gonna swatch all of these as well um just so we can see swatches I'm not usually a big fan of the Rouge Allure Lux, but I really was um, intrigued by the shade. This is the golden beige, and I love a beautiful golden beige neutral shade for lips, so this intrigued me. But I definitely will be topping it off with a gloss because um, I feel like it's going to be too dry for me otherwise, so I always like to have a glossy lip. The color, I have to say, is very much my kind of color. I love this kind of nudie lip. So let me swatch the gloss as well. I feel like I'm almost out of my gloss. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need to get another one. But um, so the top is the lip liner and then we have the Rouge Allure Lac and then the gloss. So I think these will look really nice together. So let's give it a try. First the lip liner. Okay, let's try the lipstick. Wow, the shade is so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. I love the shade. It doesn't feel drying on my lips. I thought it would be really drying, but it's not. It actually feels really comfortable. I am still going to top it with my favorite gloss just because I love that glossy look. But this shade, I think, is so pretty. So, so pretty yeah i really like this combo okay i'm gonna finish off with my setting spray i have the one from chanel this is the heat your beauty essence mist um hydration protection radiance energizing mist i talked about this on my channel before i really really like this as a setting spray it's just a really great refresher um as a setting spray or throughout the day to for like a boost of hydration i love the mister on this it's like an ongoing mister that you don't have to keep on pressing you know like you the as long as you're pressing it it's it's just gonna spray and it's a very very fine mist it doesn't shoot you in the eye it smells phenomenal and it has that hydra beauty skincare line smell if you know what that smells like this is what this one smells like and it is very, very pricey for a setting spray, but it has skincare benefits in it and it lasts a really long time. This is 1.7 fluid ounces, 50 mils, and it lasts. It lasts a long, long time. All right, let's apply it. Oh, that feels so nice. So, so nice. So refreshing. <laughs> And again, the smell is amazing. This is our finished final look for the day. Um, let me go ahead and also grab my fragrance. And for fragrance of the day today, I'm gonna be using my Gabrielle Chanel perfume. I haven't used this in some time and I do really, really love this fragrance. It is so, so pretty. So let's spray this. Mmm, that smells so good. I have to wear this more. Yeah, smells amazing. I absolutely love how feminine and elegant this fragrance is. It is so, so pretty. And again, this is the finished look for the day. I really, really like the way everything turned out. I really love the blush, the highlight, the eyeshadow. I think everything is so pretty. Everything goes so well together. And I like this lip combo with the eyes. I think it really goes well. 
I'm gonna try to link everything down below in my description box for your convenience and some of the links may be affiliate links so which means I'll get a small commission if you use my links and I just wanted to say a big thank you to anybody who uses my links I really do appreciate it okay you guys I'm gonna grab my phone and um, as I said in my intro we're gonna be selecting a winner for the Vlogmas a Day 25 giveaway. Okay, everyone, so I have my phone, I have everything pulled up, and as always, I'm gonna record my screen and I'm gonna pop it up on the screen for you guys um, so you can kind of see what I'm seeing. And um, let's go ahead and pick the winner. I will link the video with the giveaway in my description box this way in case you guys are interested in seeing what the winner is gonna get you can kind of refresh in your memory um, or if you're interested in watching that video again it's going to be there as well um, so good luck everyone okay everyone so we have our winner for the vlogmas a day 25 giveaway and it is diamond eyes z135 you're our winner congratulations and all you have to do is you need to email me at unbox with me 2021 at gmail.com you need to provide your full mailing address and you need to comment underneath this video with your email address up to the sign at so if it were me i would put unbox with me 2021 and you need to do this within 24 hours of this video. Make sure that you only include your email up to the sign at, don't put like at Gmail or at Hotmail or whatever it may be. Don't do the ending because YouTube will delete those comments. I hope everybody is staying healthy and well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.